This episode of I Am The Trend TV is brought to you by Threadbird Printing, high quality screen printing at affordable prices. And Thread's Not Dead, the essential ebook for dominating the t-shirt industry. Visit tinyurl.com slash t not d and use coupon code IATT20 for 20% off. What's up guys, Adam from IamTheTrend.com and I Am The Trend TV with a t-shirt review for you from Eternal Clothing. Um, Eternal Clothing actually sent me dose packages. Um, one has their special uh, limited edition, or I don't know if it's limited edition per se, but a special edition uh, packaging on the inside here. And this one does not. So I don't know if they sent me the same t-shirts or whatnot, but let's just grip it, rip it, get into it. Um, as I mentioned, Eternal Clothing is the name of said brand at hand, it's eternal-clothing.com if you want to check them out. So packaging, this one I know has nothing special uh, except for the tees are poly bagged individually, which is cool, and also has the Eternal Clothing sticker on there. This is the one I really want to get into. Um, I saw this online, I was pretty pumped on it. Um, they do have some handwritten address on uh, I don't know what you did, but knowing how cool the packaging is inside, I would let it go. We have two canisters, or to what we have two shirts. Um, very cool packaging. I saw uh, Monsieur Eureka did some packaging like this in a, in a tube a long time ago and really dug it. Um, basically, these are supposed to be spray paint cans from what I'm uh, gathering here. Um, but it shows all of their t-shirt designs on there. So taking a closer look here, um, basically if all of their t-shirt designs, or a few of their t-shirt designs, I mean all of them, um, listed on the side so you can maybe see what else they have to offer. And then the shirt that you bought, which this one is Greenpeace, on the front. Um, it is also says, it is a spray paint can designed by Tim Clay, who Tim is the owner. Very cool creative packaging here. I'm not sure exactly how I put this together, but uh, very cool. Um, they have their story on there, which is awesome. Taking utilization of the space. So let's open up these tubes and see what we have. So that's what it looks like when you get into the inside. I imagine this is a sticker sitting on top, and it is. Yes, I am a genius. And pull that out of there. Rolled up shirt. Ooh, very soft printing. Notice in that right out of the gate. And this is their Greenpeace tee, which doesn't look very peaceful, aside from the fact that it's a green gun. So, uh, it's a green piece, if you will. Um, let's see here on the inside, you have the screen printed hang tag, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, screen printed T tag, which is great to see. Um, almost all brands do this now, and it's really worth the extra money. Um, you can add a little bit of extra branding in there, People like it because it's not an itchy woven tag. Although I think custom woven tags are cool. Um, I've just been more of a fan of the screen printed tag on the inside. Um, all shirts are printed on Anvil 980s from what I uh, gather. I'll see this in this one as well. Um, printing, like I said, is really soft on these. Well done on the printing. Let's see here. And we have the sweet porn star tee that you can wear to your next family get together. I'm sure grandma will love this one. Um, moving along, let's just crack through all these real quick. I can tell you what, the printing on, on these are fantastic. Um, extremely soft, you cannot feel the print whatsoever on there. So whoever's screen printing these tees for them did a fantastic job. So I'm gonna give them an A uh, on printing onto the gate. Um, a on packaging. Now, to mention, not all of the shirts come standard in their um, tube mailer. Um, so this is not something that you're going to get unless you order it with that. I believe it's a few extra dollars to get that type of packaging. Um, it didn't say on the website. I was trying to find, or maybe it did say, but I just couldn't find it, um, how much it costs to do that extra packaging. A little bit of geisha design here. So they have a lot of different designs. Um, nothing too cohesive as a look. Um, the only thing that I'm noticing from one tee to the other is their E um, design is on every shirt in one way or another on this one, obviously on the side of the building. Um, 
Let's go back through these. Printing, like I said, is fantastic on these. Completely soft. Um, doo -doo -doo. These also on that one. This is cool. I like the illustration on this. Um, the porn star shirt, ugh, definitely not my favorite. Uh, I think the text on here is, the text in the stars are just pretty lame, to be perfectly honest. I'm not a fan of this one whatsoever. Um, the green piece is funny. Uh, um, it's good stuff. So overall presentation of the brand, I'm gonna give them a B. Um, I really like the creativity of the, the shipping canister here. I think the printing is awesome. $20 for the price is awesome. That's an A. Um, printed on Anvil 980s, which I think are great. Um, some people complain about them, but I think it's a great um, fashion fit tee that's obviously under the American Apparel uh, 2001. But for a brand that's up, up and coming, and if you want to spend money elsewhere on packaging and whatnot, it's not a bad uh, t-shirt substitution. Um, I'm just not overall digging all of the designs. There's nothing wrong with them per se, just not some of my favorite designs. Um, I get a ton of shirts. So it's, it's really hard to, you know, just stand out and be completely different and uh, have something that's, you know, a knock out of the park and no, nothing wrong with any of these designs. I think they're all solid. Um, just not something um, that I think is just, you know, wowing me per se. So um, if you want to check them out, you can check them out. It's eternal-clothing.com. As a recap, four pieces of tees, packaging A, price A, printing A, overall presentation B. So all around the board, very nicely done. Um, you can check them out, eternal-clothing.com. So I'm Adam from IamTheTrend.com, Twitter.com slash IamTheTrend, Facebook.com slash IamTheTrend. Until next time, stay shirty.